So, so then I, um, I decided I was gonna go from, from um, TVs to movies, and this is like, while I was working at YTV, there was guys there doing like interstitials and 3D stuff, and I was like, I was really interested, and I was saying, hey, can you guys teach me how to do this? And they're like, it's really complex. And I was like, well, I mean, I taught myself how to do a lot of stuff. I'm like, will you, will you teach me? And like, they wouldn't. So I actually, uh, I went to Sheridan um, after, for a while, and I was started running my own, I was running my own business on the side, subcontracting to other CG artists. And then I went to Sheridan to learn how to do what I was doing myself. And I loved it. I was like, I, I soaked it up. I was, in, I was in class like every day. I didn't miss a single second of any of my classes. I didn't go to the washroom or anything. Uh, graduated above honors, loved it, got hired on a movie. Uh, it was a terrible movie. It was uh, basically, it was a, it was a ripoff of Madagascar that came after Madagascar, but it was actually Madagascar ripped us off, but they came out a year sooner, so we looked like we did the stealing. And we were like, oh, thanks everybody. So nobody watched the movie, it was called The Wild. And, um, but that was sort of my foot into movies. And I also did like, uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, like first off, like I don't know why she's in a towel. Like I think that's kind of difficult to hunt zombies in a towel. But anyway, so that's how I kind of got my start in in films. And then while I was working in films, this was this came out, and I was like, oh my god, I got to work on this movie, and I didn't because you know I was like just starting out. But I had a friend who worked on him, and he was animating Megatron, and I was like super excited. I was like, wow, this is, you know, there's a friend of mine doing this. I can also do this. So I've already gotten this far. You know, I'm already working in movies. This could be possible, right? I could work on these movies. So a few years later, I got my big break. Um, I, was, I wor worked on Thor, and um, then right after Thor, they wanted me to work on Dark, dark of the Moon, and I was like, it wasn't that exciting part of the movie. It was like, do you guys remember this ship? This is like the, when we go inside the ship and we see like some like robots walking around and wheels and brains are on the ship, and they take the ship down. So I had to design the inside of this sh ship, or like texture it, and it was quite large. It was like thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces. And the way Michael Bay works is that you design it, model it, texture it, look at it, light it, comp it, put all the specs in, and then he'll look at it. And then, then if he likes it, <laughs> you're good. If he doesn't like it, you start again. So after four months, we're like, <laughs> and he liked it, so we were happy. Um, so that was how I sort of got my first break, even though it was like a small break, and you know that was like my initial foray into that. Then Nerdvana hit. I got hired on Tomorrowland, for, for Industrial Light and Magic and, uh, in San Francisco, and that was like, you know, the, if anybody knows anything about VFX, this is kind of the mecca. This is the place to go, the place to work. All of their things that you work on are, are awesome. It's like they, they take everything that's not awesome and ship it somewhere else, and they work on all the awesome stuff. So this was really cool. So I was working on a movie called Tomorrowland for an entire year, and I did a lot of that stuff, and then because San Francisco is a really, really expensive place to live, I had to work overtime, and the movie they let me work on was Transformers Age of Extinction. Extinction. Anyway, so, uh, so Transformers, this was, I, I, didn't, I did do a lot of stuff on this one. I got to do like Optimus's guns and his weapons, and you know, when Lockdown like shoves a sword in him and he does all the sort of damage variations. Uh, I got to do like boats and buildings, and I got to do some fixes on Bumblebee and stuff. It was good, but it wasn't like, like super awesome stuff. But at least I got to work on it, and I got my name on the credits again. I was like, yeah, it was me. So, uh, and then, um, then the then I went I, I went back to ILM, and I was literally hired to work on specifically on da -da, Transformers: The Last Night. So. Um, now this is it, this is like me sort of full-fledged working on it right from the beginning with the start, and the first thing they asked me to do was Megatron. And I was like, Megatron is literally like my favorite villain ever. I'm like, are you kidding me? 